Hey everybody, in today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to do the unresponsive sidewinder. Uh, this is a great trick to learn if you need to kind of find a quick way to get rid of your, some of your string tension. It's what I use when I've, or my string tension is a little bit tight and it's just a really cool flashy way to get your string tension back to neutral. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so when you actually start this trick, we're gonna want some string tension that's actually a little bit tight. Um, the reason for this is because we're trying to loosen our string tension and if we start with neutral string tension, then it's just gonna loosen it and make our string tension bad. So you wanna start with your string tension just being a little bit tight, but normally you're only gonna be doing this trick when it's tight anyway. So just get it a little bit tight and we're good to go. Okay, so the first step is just to throw the yo-yo forward, just normal forward uh, throw, just like this. And we need to know, if you're learning this trick, you do need to know how to bind the yo-yo. So the bind we'll be using is this one where you go over your non-throw hand index finger just like that and bind from there. And that's the bind that we're gonna be using today. So if you don't know that, you need to learn it. Um, I can give a quick little tutorial here. All that's happening is you're placing your finger in front of the string, your non-throw hand finger in front of the string, and just rolling the yo-yo over that finger, just like that. Okay, and then once you're here, you pinch and pull up with this hand, and that'll get the bind. So to actually do the sidewinder portion of this trick, as we are starting to bind the yo-yo, right when the yo-yo starts to catch, like right when you feel that catching, what you need to do is take your throw hand and move it directly to the side of the yo-yo right next to it. You don't want to be above or below. You want to be right next to the yo-yo, right as it's starting to bind, and that'll get that effect. So I'll show you that again. We're pinching here. We're kind of doing our bind, but it's kind of in one motion. We're not really going to bind and then try to move our hand over because that's not going to work. So what we need to do is bind, and as we're binding, we're actually bringing our throw hand to the side. So just like this, as we're binding, we're bringing that throw hand to the side and to get that, that sidewinder. Because if you're just waiting and you're binding and then moving to the side, it's too late and it's not gonna get that effect. So, right as, we're gonna actually start to bind as we move our hand over, just like that. And the farther you move your hand over, the bigger of a side wind you're gonna get, the longer it'll be able to stay in the air. So you'll get um, more string tension out of that. So a few things that could be going wrong here is that when you um, are bringing your throw hand over, you want to actually go to the left side. And if you're not going to the left side, then it's going to kind of mess up the trick. And you actually can go to the right side, but then you'll be uh, tightening your string tension, which you probably don't want to do. So you want to make sure that you're actually going to the left half of the yo-yo, which will get that effect and will uh, loosen your string tension. So if this effect isn't working, you're not getting the sidewinder kind of effect there um something that could be going wrong is that you're not moving your hand over fast enough so it kind of look like that if i were to kind of just not move my hand over fast enough it'll bind before you can actually get that sidewinder to kind of start so as you're binding you're really pulling that hand over to get that effect and if you don't do it fast enough then you're just gonna it's not gonna work so you want to make sure that you're going fast enough really getting that hand over quickly to get that effect all right so that's gonna do it for this tutorial i'm gonna show you guys a few slow-mos and everything from a few different angles but Appreciate everybody watching and have a great rest of your day.